for game number five at the K-Rock Center with the Brampton Battalion. Good evening and welcome to beautiful Kingston, Ontario, the waterfront view, the K-Rock Center. There's people lined up outside to get in tonight to see game number five. And yes, hockey spirit is back in Kingston with this series tied at two games apiece. Hi again, everybody. Mark Potter along with John Bagg and Scott Rogers tonight to bring this one to you. And it wasn't very back to Clark over to Pereira. Pereira back to Clark center stripe. Rich shot through traffic rebound sprawling Beskarwani. They put it home. Well, Beskarwani makes the initial save, but Tansky was there whacking away at it. He managed, I think, to poke that puck free. Yeah, I believe Matt you're Clark right. Clark was there as well. Yeah, it was either Tansky or Jones. We'll get a chance to look at the replay, but just an example there of Clark. You don't have to wind up every time. I just got the puck in deep. Yeah, I think it was number 17, Sean Jones on the back end. Second attempt right there. Okay. Was able to put it home. Well, it might have been Tansky. We'll wait for the call. Tansky was right on the goal line as well, took a swipe at it. A little too far for him. On the loose puck is DeRoche. Tried to throw it in front on the loose puck. Out front comes to Moon. Over to DeRoche, scores! And there you see the hands of DeRoche. We just finished talking about it. But a good forecheck by the Kingston front next. And a nifty little pass off the stick of Nathan Moon in traffic. And DeRoche, the rookie, not going to make a mistake with a wide open net like that. Colleen down. DeRoche gets it up in a hurry. Watch the little pass by Moon. DeRoche up high. There's the goal. 9.21 left on the clock. We've got a tie game. Nothing like a no look pass at the top of the crease. Boy, oh boy. Right to DeRoche. I dare. McLeod on it for the battalion. Bumped by Quine. Back to Pereira. Shot again through traffic. Big rebound. They score. Tyler Beskarawani just couldn't control that soft shot from the points, and uh, he's going to be kicking himself. Farrell. Back comes Kingston. Two. Now it's Doherty. Make it three on the rush. Comes to Doherty. Rebound. Warwick puts it home. Well, a little bit of a lucky goal for the Kingston front. Max, the initial shot was blocked. And then a second swat added towards the net, and we talked about Ethan Warwick, who can come out of nowhere and pop one home. That's exactly what he did there, doing the right thing. This team has possession of the puck, drive for the net. There you see the deflection. And Colleen, who makes the first save, couldn't corral the rebound, and Warwick ties this game up, 17-04 on the clock. Well, I like that Doherty jumped into the rush. Kingston Frontenac since scoring that goal at the 256 mark. They're showing a little bit more energy. They seem to have been inspired by the goal and they're really getting it going here. There's another one, Nathan Moon. Again, a fortuitous bounce for the Kingston front. Max and Moon is able to take advantage. Well, you know what? There were a couple of goals in the first two games where Brampton got the lucky bounces, and Kingston certainly had their share in this game. Again, two lucky bounces resulting in uh, two goals, but front Max and their faithful will certainly take it. Well, the test for Kingston now will be to see if they can keep the momentum going as we see Moon putting it home. Here's long dump in was blocked by Goodbranson, but he couldn't clear it the rest of the way. Cody Hodgson's side of the net scores score. right through the legs of Tyler Beskarawani, and this game's all tied up at three. Well, again, you have to give a big assist. Who was that? I think it was Alavi. Was it number four who was in front of the net? Was joining in on the rush and the, the puck came wide to Hodgson who just rifled a wrist shot, but there was all kinds of traffic in front. Beskarwani, I'm certain, didn't even see that puck. Well, we've got the replay here. Side of the net. Oof. Oof. That was uh, Craig. It comes to Moore. Make that Jones who's hooked down. Moon down the far side. Bouncing puck. Can't control. Near point on it is good. Branson, he blows the tire awkwardly. 
No time to be hurt. Gets he gets up. That's right. McLeod down on a 2 on one, one Pass across. One timer scores. Jones with the winner for Brampton. And McLeod does a marvelous job just holding on to that puck, being very patient with it and getting it across. And the Brampton Battalion stunned the hometown Kingston Frontenacs with a beautiful transition goal and take a 3-2 lead in games. And the Frontenacs very frustrated, obviously, as they leave the ice. Well, it all started inside the Brampton zone when uh, Goodbranson blew his tire. Here we'll see him a cloud. But again, McLeod with just a beautiful setup. Sean Jones. Jones, who's been struggling a little bit in the postseason. He is the leading point getter for this team, but. Cameron Odom sprawling in the slot, trying to block that pass. Besker Wani again trying to use his size to get across and flop across, but too little too late. And fronts are down one. They're going to have to win another one on the road. Well, absolutely. And I guess that's the one thing they do have going for them is that they have already won in Brampton.